I have a question. How are you gonna let Dallas beat you in your own house? How are you gonna let Dallas beat you with the division and your ticket to the playoffs basically on the line? How are you gonna let the Cowboys beat you in front of a primetime audience the whole nation's watching when you kick their asses on Thanksgiving? Jesus H. Christ on a tricycle. Revenge is like eggnog. It's best served cold and tastes like shit. This, this, this loss hurts, man. This, this is like a friggin' dagger right in the heart. And I realize it's, you know, the holiday season and everything. But did we really have to, like, gift wrap that game in nice little wrapping paper and put a bow on it and hand the division to the Cowboys like, Merry Christmas, fellas! And a Happy New Year! Now look, I'm not trying to take anything away from the Cowboys. They came in and did what they had to do. They lined up and they played good football. They got their revenge and they earned that win. Almost choked though. Oh, almost choking. The Eagles almost came back and won that game. Almost, 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 almost. This entire season, do you have any idea how sick of the word almost I almost am. You almost beat the 49ers. You almost beat the Cardinals. You almost won this game. You almost won that game. You almost, 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 almost. And unfortunately, almost is not an NFL statistical category. Otherwise, we would lead the league in almost. Our almost per game would be off the charts. We would be in the top five of almost rating. But almost does not cut it. Either you do or you don't. The Cowboys did, and we didn't. I, 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 I can't continue to make excuses for this team. I can't. Not when you're almost do winning the game, or almost losing the game, or almost this, and almost that. You guys are too busy. Listen, there's a difference between shooting yourself in the foot and blowing your leg off from the knee down with a bazooka, okay? You need to go see Lieutenant Dan, get yourself some magic legs, stand yourself back up, and figure this thing out. The, 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 there was a lot of good things about this team. There's a lot of good pieces in place. That defensive line, they're playing out of their mind. Despite being down to Miko Ryans, the linebackers are still playing at an incredibly high level. We still got a great offensive line and one of the league's most dangerous backs in Shady McCoy. Sure, he hasn't had the year that he had last year, but he's still one of the league's best running backs. Jeremy Macklin is a beast, and that dude is due for a payday. Jordan Matthews is going to continue to develop and become a player, but there are two glaring weaknesses on this team. By glaring, I mean spotlight as big as the bat signal right in your face hot enough to melt your friggin' eyeballs. Two glaring weaknesses, one on each side of the ball. On one end, you have the quarterback. And on the defensive end, you have the secondary. And in today's NFL, where it is a pass-happy league, all the rules affect the defense and not the offense, and referees are throwing flags like beads at Mardi Gras. If you do not have the quarterback and you do not have the secondary, you got no shots. And there is no greater exclamation point that I can slam at the end of that sentence than just bringing you back a brief 10 years ago to the Andy Reid era, specifically between the years 2000 and 2004, where every year it seemed like we were a lock to win the NFC East, go on to the playoffs and possibly contend for a Super Bowl. Now, there was a lot of great pieces to that team, right? On the defensive line, you had Hugh Douglas. Linebackers, you had Jeremiah Trotter in the middle. Our offensive line, Trey Thomas, John Runyon, those bookends, Brian Westbrook coming out of the backfield. You had Ike Reese and David Akers on special teams. But what were the top two things about that team? When you look back and you look at all those strengths and you categorize them one through however many, what would you say the top two were? Number one, they had a quarterback. And number two... They had a secondary. You know, we, we, we had Donovan. You know, in, in, in the secondary, we had Troy and Bobby and B-Doc, Orlito and Sheldon and B-Doc. And you knew every year, two of those guys were going to the Pro Bowl along with Donovan. And we always had a shot. With that group, we always had a shot. 
This year we got no quarterback. We got no secondary. And therefore, yeah, I don't want to say it out loud. I don't want to say it out loud. I bleed green too much. You want to hear it, Go. you can go hear it from some of the other video makers. But, uh, you know, you keep playing like you have for the last two weeks. And uh, you, you, you got no shot. You got no shot. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. And, you know, now they need help. Because now the game's no longer in your hands. Once upon a time it was, two weeks ago, I was standing in front of Lincoln Financial Field talking to you guys about if we beat the Seahawks, we're going to get a first round bye. And here I am two weeks later talking to you about maybe <laughs> I might not even make the playoffs. It's unbelievable. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you what, I don't care what the regular season record is, all right? Somebody asked me before the season, what, what was the theme of the season? Or a word to describe the season? And I said, progress. Because I wasn't sure that this was the year, but I wanted to see progress. And anything short of winning the division and going and winning a home playoff game is not progress even if you have the same regular season record. And I don't care about the regular season record because I've, in my experience in football, and I've watched a ton of it over the years, I've seen too many 9-6 and six teams go on to be 12-4 and four teams. So the point of the regular season is just to get into the playoffs. But if you don't win the NFC East, and you don't host a playoff game, and you don't win said playoff game, you are not going forward, you are going backwards which is now compounded by the whole freaking quarterback situation and the secondary situation. Oh, God damn it. Let's just hope Indianapolis wins, right? Let's hope Indianapolis wins and the Eagles go on and beat the last two teams, the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants, who, by the way, got nothing to play for. But if you don't think that either Washington or New York Giants wouldn't love to Rain on your parade, let alone take a giant shit all over it. You got another thing coming. So, Eagles, you, do me a solid. Do, 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 do us, all of us a solid. Win the last two games. <laughs> Just win the last two games. Hey, 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 I guess that's all you can do. Oh, God. Monday suck. Mon 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 Monday suck as it is. And then you sprinkle a little Dallas beating the Eagles on top. And it's like, you know what? I'm not even in the mood for this. And I'm not. I'm not in the mood for this right now. All right? I don't know who won Facebook Friday. I'll let them know. I'll figure it out. I don't know what the prize is for Facebook Friday this week. I'll let you know on Facebook page. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, whatever. It's at the Mighty e -Rock. And to be honest with you, I hope the birds make the playoffs this year. Because if they don't, this might be the last interaction you and I have on YouTube this year. Because the Redskins game is right by the holiday and I'm just too busy to do a video. And for the Giants game, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to be in the middle of the goddamn ocean watching the game with my Eagles jersey on. I'm going to be on a cruise. So if the Eagles don't make the playoffs, this is it. The next time you see me might be the annual end of year Eagles shit to bed E-Rock blooper video. God damn it. So until next time, whenever that might be, let's go birds and I will see you. I don't know. Hopefully in the playoffs. God damn it. Eagles just win the last two fucking games of the year. Shit. Fuck. God damn Dallas. God damn no good Cowboys. How do you lose at home against the Cowboys? You have got to be shitting me. God damn it.